Nights this week, warm days, pretty ideal as it all starts to change for the weekend, however. Meteorologist Pete Mangione is in the Weather Center tracking it all, but sadly, Pete, this isn't going to last very long. It never does, does it? <laughs> it never no, does. Especially in March and April in southern New England, right? Yeah, we will have an abrupt end to this by the time we go to tomorrow night, but tomorrow is actually not a bad day. Before we talk about all that, I want to talk about one of my favorite things. It's a time change. This is how it will affect your sunset and sunrise times as we go into the weekend. So let's put up those Saturday and Sunday sunrise and sunset forecasts. And of course, remember to set your clock ahead one hour before going to bed on Saturday night. Now, one of the reasons I like explaining this is that this has a 100% chance of happening. We're walking in. You don't hear a meteorologist say that very often. So look at Saturday, sun rising at 6 in the morning, sun setting before 6 p.m. But once we go into Sunday, the sun rises one hour later or about one hour later, but it also sets at 6.51 on Sunday evening. So those of you looking forward to that extra hour of daylight on Sunday evening should have a nice evening to enjoy that. Now, getting to our three key things, mild tomorrow. So you get one more day of this, although probably not as warm as today cold and windy for Saturday, especially during the first part of the day. Cool next week as temperatures will be in the 30s and 40s and maybe even a little bit of snow in the forecast too. No snow right now in Narragansett. We do have a lot of people enjoying the beach. I'll step out of the way so you can see all of them. And you know, this was not one of those locations which reached the 70s today as expected because of those sea breezes, but still not bad for this time of year. Newport, a little bit of haze out there. Temperatures also not quite as warm here as inland spots. Places like North Situate did sneak into the upper 60s to low 70s today. Here are those current temperatures. Still quite pleasant in Smithfield at 68 degrees, 67 in Providence, 51 in Newport, 58 in New Bedford. So obviously cooler with those winds coming in out of the southwest. And it's still breezy out there. Winds generally between around 10 and 20 right now with some gusts around 25 in Smithfield. 32 recently for a gust coming in from TF Green. So eventually the center of low pressure moves by to the north. That will drag a front along with it. And behind that, that's where the colder air will start to spill in. But it does not get here during much of the day tomorrow. So that's why Tomorrow's temperatures look pretty nice. In fact, you can see by 6, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, fairly mild for a Friday morning. Few showers possible. I don't think this is a big deal for morning commuters. And then by the afternoon, we shove away the clouds, bring in some sunshine with high temperatures likely in the low 60s. Now, here come the changes. Late Friday night into Saturday morning, notice temperatures dropping to the 40s and then eventually into the 30s by early Saturday morning. But the bigger story, I think, will be the winds. We're rewinding the clock for just a second. Notice Friday night into Saturday morning. This is 6 a.m. Saturday morning, gusts between 30 and 40, and with temperatures in the 30s and 40s, it will feel even colder with those wind chills. I do think those winds start to ease up a little bit by the afternoon, but still chilly with highs in the mid-40s, and then a little less wind on Sunday, but still cool, upper 40s with mostly sunny skies. You can always get more updates on the website. We will now send it back to you. Pete, thanks. 12 News anchor Shannon Heggie.